Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. On in today's episode, we're going to be completing part 2 of the Crystal Oscillator build uh, style thing. Yeah, that thing. Um, so, it's been a couple days since I last recorded and things, so I had to kind of watch back my old video and look at the math again for this stuff here. But I did write it all down and everything should be good to go. So, hopefully this doesn't sound weird because I'm kind of facing a little bit the other way to see where I wrote down. Uh, but I'm going to need uh, 12... Yeah, so for these ores over here, I found two more just over that way. I got two there and two back over at the base over that way. And then each of those will run off six smelters uh, to make six construct. Is that right? Yeah, smelters into the constructors to make the iron. Um, and then they will go into these iron plates where we'll need, I think, 12... Is it 6, 12, 18, 24? Yeah, so I'll need 12 of these constructors. And then coming into here, I think we need... Uh, how many is that? Eight? Eight of these guys? I'm pretty sure that's right. Anyways, I have it all written down. But yeah, that's basically what I'm going to be working on right now. Uh, as you can see, I will show you guys just over this way. There we go. Uh, just over here. I just kind of attached it to our old side of the base and things. I still need to paint this. I'm going to do that next episode, I think. Um, just over here. Uh, as you can see, I just kind of hooked it all up to the same the same line just over here. Um, speaking of, I can grab you and bring it over here to come power these guys up. They currently don't have any batteries in them at the moment, so they're only going to be producing 60 a minute or whatever it is. I think it's, yeah, 60. Uh, they are impure, so I'm going to double these to do 120, and that's 240 there. They're just being brought along this line here to be brought up and over this way as the same as this other stuff. And I already had this built in, so it was really convenient for me just to hook it up. Uh, I liked that. That was good. And then... I was thinking maybe I might be able to use this space just here because it's not going to go very tall. The screws are right there. They have to go just over that way. That might make things a lot easier because I was thinking of building it way over this other side because um, as you can see, I kind of brought it under the same as the uh, copper, I believe it was. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, I kind of brought it the same way under here, and this is kind of where I left it because I was going to build it on the other side. But then all I have to do is kind of figure out how to get that over there, and then I can basically start straight away. The only thing I would have to look at is potential collision with the space because i got to basically copy that and over here. So I might have a quick look at that, like even if we extend it down that way a little bit, we can come back a few more, maybe like two more squares and things, two more foundations I reckon. Oh, maybe just the one, yeah just the one probably just from here, that's alright though, um, I'll just fill this in, may as well if we're going to be doing it, and boop boop. Alrighty, so we kind of have that there. It's a fair decent space to work with, I reckon. We only really need this one kind of walkway just here as, you know, as a walkway and things. But let's have a quick count of this. Let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I feel like we have 13 over here. This sort of space over here looks way longer. So let's just kind of go from here. Let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is just going to fit and that's starting right there. So even if I bring it back one, we should be fine. Um, oh, thank you. And then let's go to check this way. How wide are we going? So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven. I don't know if we're gonna make it that way. We might actually. Let's go from here. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we just make it. Uh, over here is gonna be a little bit of an issue. I don't know if we can even uh, place things over here. It doesn't. Oh, I'm out of that. So that's probably why that won't work. So we can. This is gonna look a bit funny because it's gonna, for some reason, place it all the way up there, unless I can kind of set them up to be like this sort of thing. 
So I think I'm going to work on that right now. Uh, basically, all I'm going to be doing is chucking batteries in those ones over there, just changing the line to come over this side rather than around that way. And then for the other mine, I think I might just bring them straight through here because I still have another another open another opening just there and they should be able to just come straight down this way because they are oh come on jump over thank you they're just up there so if i kind of bring them down and then kind of vertically across and then use this extra cutout and things because i don't see me adding anything in here because it's too small and i can just kind of fly this through this way and it should all work pretty pretty well and then we'll be overproducing a little bit on the iron side, but that's fine. And then we have a little bit spare in case we need, like we ever need plates or anything like that. We can go and grab them from there. Uh, so I believe I will get working on that. And I'll see you guys once I have all of this laid down to probably start the actual oscillator part. So yeah, I'll be back in quite a while probably. Alrighty guys, so we are back. Um, I kind of miscalculated how much I needed and all that kind of stuff. So before I was working off, I was getting 360 from the two things coming up here to make 720. Um, but it turns out I can make eight manufacturers with just uh, 240 coming from each. So I have 480, which means I needed less of these guys just here. So this is kind of what I've done. It's all just being fed properly just because I wanted it to be all balanced and things and so it is here so we got 240 coming in 120 and then 60 going either side then 30 going in um, pretty straightforward nothing too crazy uh, the only thing I had to go out and do was just go out and get a couple more slugs I found a green one and a yellow so that gave me the three uh, the three that I needed so that was good uh, that was nice quick we'll just watch this iron here come in as it flows through so it should be 240 coming on this line, uh, and it can carry 270, so it might look a bit empty, but that's fine. No need to worry there, but everything should be balanced out when it starts coming into these things here, because they only can take 120 and 120. So hopefully from here, everything should be fine, and then we can just take it straight up to the next layer and start working on the plates, and then we should be able to take it out one more layer to get the reinforced plates. So that shouldn't be too hard because we got screws all the way in this fact, like just here, like in this factory just here. So that won't be too bad. And we have a lot of height, so we can basically use this as a like example for the levels and things. And uh, we definitely have three floors worth of clearance up here because I'm pretty sure that would go straight under there. So it should all work out pretty well. And then I might just build the roof in just to make it kind of fit a bit better. And then once we like get going a bit more I can take out this coal and stuff like that and then we'll have all that whole platform up there to work with as well but this here should be just ticking over perfectly to one yeah boom boom nice so that's pretty much that there and then all I did was essentially the same thing as what I did on that side um, oop I put this around the wrong way that's annoying uh, six and splitter this way boom boom Let's put you in there, and then we need 120 and a 120. Alrighty, cool. There we go. So yeah, so it's all set up the same way. 240, 120, 120, 60, 60, 30, 30, 30, 30. So that's all done there. I'll just show you guys what I did just over here in case you were wondering. I just kind of took it around here. I kind of left it up off the ground just so I could run freely and things through here. And then as I said, I just kind of brought it through this little hole here. And it's not too much of an inconvenience. I might move it. Oh, if it stops, thank you. I might move it back to here just so it's um, like snug against this railing, like these machines, and then goes that way. Uh, but I, at the moment, it's fine. I don't really use this space anyways, but yeah, I might just tidy that up later on. And then for here, I can still use this whole area. I might try and set up like a, a better way to kind of get up here and things, like a, just build that up kind of a layer or something like that, or maybe like a little... I don't know, shooting sort of thing. I'm not sure what I want to do there yet, but that would be that. Then from here, all I'm going to do is just bring them up to the next floor and things, exactly what I did um, just over there. So I might merge them, maybe. That might work a bit better. So I was thinking I might merge them here and then take that one up to the next thing. It just, Or I might just take them up individually and then merge them and then put them on the next floor. Maybe that's what I'll do because I won't need all this extra room in the middle. I can make them a bit tighter on the inside. 
And then that could look pretty cool actually having like on the next floor have the iron plates come up from the middle and things rather from the outside. Hmm. But yeah, I'm going to get working on that uh, yet again. So hopefully I'll see you guys in a little bit. Shouldn't take too long really. Nothing too crazy to do at all. Um, yeah, we just need half of this thing. So I think I put down 24 and I'll just need 12 then. Yeah, is that right? Two, f yeah, two four, six, eight. So I put down 16, so I'm only going to need 8 of these things up top. So that should be a lot easier and things. Hopefully my math is okay. Uh, I don't know, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to get working on that right now. And there we go. Just like that, it is all done. Now, this was uh, fairly easy to do. Uh, it really didn't take any time at all. Probably like 10 minutes maybe max. Uh, but all I did here, it kind of went a bit good because I didn't think that they were different sizes, but they were. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's just getting more and more um, obscured as we go down, but it's fine. It all fits, and it kind of snugs up nicely against this wall here as well, so that kind of works pretty good. Um, it's probably better than just having like a one wall gap and things. But from here, um, we need 20 of these plates per... Uh, let me go here and assembler. Can we fit one of you in here? No, we can't. Of course not. But if we come to here, uh, we got 20, 20 plates per thing. So these ones up here make 15 each. I was thinking if I uh, combined 60... So I was thinking if I combined four of them, brought them up, and then split them into three... So then that way that would work a bit better. So I would combine these two and then these two and then bring them up. These two and these two bring them up. These two, these two bring them up. These two, these two bring them up. And then, then split those into three different things. So we'll have one, two, three, four constructors. Well, 12 constructors actually. Yeah, is that right? Four being split into three. Yes, yeah, 12. Yeah, cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be having 12 constructors on the next floor producing all the things that we need. So hopefully I can do it It'll easy enough. If not, I'm just going to have to kind of combine them all on this. That might be easier actually. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'll just build this next floor up anyways and we can just have a look how... How much room we have and what kind of yeah what kind of room we have to work with basically okay so this is kind of like what we're working with here at the moment if i was to do my idea i'd need to leave this middle piece here open which kind of would look really cool but i only have one block like kind of to work with so my option is to so how many of these do we need we need 12 so we need six on that side Boom. Okay, come over here. I'm just going to do it this way. Probably a bit easier. Three. Four. Five. And... Six. Okay, so we definitely have the room that way, and we have the room this way. It's just kind of this room back this way. I mean, we could technically go out further. Like, we don't need this space here. Um, we also don't really need to be kind of here as well. Like if we had that extra one block at the back here, it would really help out. Um, like if we had this extra block just kind of out this way, that means we could push this whole piece um, all the way back. Let's go to assembler. We could probably push it like all the way back to like there. Which wouldn't be too bad. So if we had one piece here splitting into three, I just don't know how well that would work out. So we could kind of do it really weird. Like have one here, one there, and then one being fed into that one. And then this one here kind of face it backwards and then do one there, one there, one being fed into this way. That, that could look kind of cool at the same time as kind of really weird. And then I can kind of figure out the screws and things because I'm going to be bringing them from probably up top, I would imagine, rather than down and things. So if I brought them from the top layer, I could just kind of 
bring them down and then split them from there. Uh, that's another thing I need to look at also is how many screws that I need. So what do we got here? Reinforce things. We got 120 times 12. Is that correct? Yeah. So let's uh, open this up. Clear. 120 times 12 is 1440. I'm pretty sure we have that just sitting around like this thing is not even being used. Um, but I don't think we've taken that many from over there. If so, then that's going to suck because I'm going to have to do something else and I really don't want to do that. So hopefully this way just works and we should be fine. So I think I'm going to extend it. I think I have to kind of extend it out this way. And then a cool kind of little thing that we could do uh, just here is just connect these like connect these rows here so we can kind of like walk across and things and it'll be like up above everything else I think it might look a bit funky though being like that and yeah I don't know maybe maybe we could do like um, something like these can I go down below though on this one anyway you know something like this to kind of act like it's a supporting a supporting pillar like on the outside and things so so then you can still walk through it and it kind of looks different but yeah I don't know we'll see but yeah I'll get this top layer here sorted and I'll be back when that's done alrighty as it has been quite a lot longer than what I thought because I had to do some extra things with the screws up there that I don't really want to show because it looks super gross and everything's yeah it's pretty nasty looking but I'll probably show you guys in a second anyways because yeah, why not? Um, but I'm going to tidy up this base a bit. Don't don't think this is how it's going to stay. But I did this just so then... Oh, God, don't fall. Thank you. Um, I did this just so then it can just kind of look tidy for now. And actually, I'll show you guys this right now because I did forget to do it. Is it not? Um, it's on the outside. That's right. And up we go. It looks pretty nasty, <coughs> so not gonna lie. I kind of have to do this weird thing where I kind of just click glitch through the poles and stuff like that. It's not really my favorite thing to do. I will come up here later um, and try to like probably change around where everything was, um, a sort of deal and things. If you just put that there, um, and then this should go to here and here and then we should be able to drop off and grab you just here and boop there we go and number eight please and we'll bring you all the way up this way and probably like there and you are not the right height there we go and this should be our last well our first oh god frame frames no no okay anywho this also isn't right and it's annoying me so I may as well just fix it now okay let's go from here to there I don't think that's right either but you know it's whatever I'll deal with it later um, and then we can do these ones here as well boop 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 Man, this is annoying as heck. Can you just, like, go away, please? And then we can eight. No, no, this one. Thank you. And, like, just there. And then, ta-da. And then, ta-da. You're all moving. Excellent, excellent. And then this one here in there. So kind of do the same thing again, kind of with this here. I might change these out just for those, like, um, where are they in here? Just for these kind of walkways and things, or maybe the blank ones or something like that, just to make it kind of look a bit nicer rather than have this giant chunky thing here. But I kind of like the way it looks. It's really different. Um, it has a nice flow to it. Hopefully this is all working out correctly uh, math-wise and things. We'll just give it a minute to warm up. Yeah, 24 so it should be 120 and the 360 divided by, um, because I had four lines of 360s divided those up into three. So it should, it seems to be working perfectly there. So that's good. Um, I feel like these, 
I was just kind of like stacking at the moment, but we'll let it run for a little bit and see how it goes. Um, but for the meantime, all we need to do now is just take everything over there. That's it. And then we are done. We have it all ready to go. I uh, just have to also then cable, not cable, manage. <laughs> um, what's the overflow? Like not overflow method, but just kind of um, 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 over, over, balance. Yeah, balance the lines. There we go. That makes more sense, doesn't it? Um, yeah, balance the lines and things so then everything kind of goes in smoothly. So I might just work on that really quick. All I'm going to do is just combine these and combine those and probably bring them on the outside there and then take them up there and build my rest of the manufacturers and stuff like that and we will be done. We'll get our crystal oscillators up and running fully automatic. Uh, and yeah, I hope I didn't mess up the other lines and things that I changed around to fix this, but they're not even being running at the moment, so it should be fine nonetheless, and I'm getting so many frames now that all these screws started moving and stuff, so I will just kind of tidy up this little area and that one over there and meet you guys back once we are ready to plug in the eight manufacturers for crystal oscillators. Alrighty guys, it has been quite a while since I last left you guys, but we are here, we are ready to plug everything in and get these crystal oscillators going. So, if you have enjoyed this video so far, I would really appreciate it if you guys could leave a like and uh, comment what you guys think of this crazy spaghetti looking build. So, let's plug these guys in and get underway. So basically I can give you a quick rundown as well what we're going with just here. So we have the cables here coming up being split into two sides. This side comes down to be split up again. This one here going that way, this one here going that way. Um, I can change the line speeds and I will just so then they kind of all flow a bit nicer but just for the moment this is what they're sitting on just because that's what I, I just kind of forgot to do it the other way but yeah that's pretty much how they're going they're all going in nicely it looks smick i like it we have the iron re the reinforced plates sorry coming in and around and in there there we go these guys here were the easiest ones to set up obviously coming um, from here they were then split up into two and do the same thing i had to do this kind of zigzaggy thing just here just so then this pathway here didn't get cut into it um, but that's pretty much what I did from those two sides and then from over here we have the crystals coming up and in. Now we don't need this much of these guys so I am going to just kind of put another splitter here and siphon them off for where we do need them and when we do but for now they are moving along doing their thing looking pretty groovy now i did make this little area just up top so we can watch the computers being the oscillators and things being built sorry um so hopefully we should be able to see them do you have any reinforced plates coming down this way yes they are they're just taking a long time do we have our 7.5 nope okay come on you guys can do it I would like one to be able to watch being built, please. Hello? Hmm. Okay, this one here has our things, and this one here does. Let's just steal 10 of these guys real quick. I have a ton on me right now, anyways. Okay, let me just come into here and chuck you in there. And we should be able to watch it being built. Look at it go. Oh my god. It's building. We should see them come out this back here. Let's go to the top here and we can watch this whole, whole little production line underway. So as you can see, I just kind of built this here just with some storage containers and things. Oh my god, I just fell off. These frames really get me when I'm like on these high things. Honestly, all the time, it's so annoying. But if we come, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And jump. Nice. There we are. This is our masterpiece coming together slowly but surely I will replace these lines here and then everything would look so smick when it's all coming through because all pretty much be on 60 at that point in time this purple here really adds color and I kind of really wish that I 
changed the way I laid this out, like did the extra, like did two extra ones on that side or something, just so then it was balancing in the middle and things, but you know, I am not moving this, I can tell you that right now. But I wonder if we have any oscillators coming, oh there's one, there's one, ooh, our first one. Dun 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 Look at that, a crystal oscillator fully automated and we do nothing. We just sit here and enjoy this. I can see why this is called satisfactory, like I really can. Like if these lines here were up like onto the two, sorry. Let me do that and just see how much nicer that there looks. Actually that would be... Boom, boom, because what's that? Um, oh, hello, lag. Thank you. And what's this? 270 into 120. So maybe not, actually. That would at least be Mark II belts anyways for here. But even that looks nice. I like that. I'm going to I'm gonna fix these lines up as well. And then we can get there and get that underway. But just for the moment... Ah, uh, it's just so nice. And I kind of really want to fix that middle, that left oscillator, the crystal line, just so it all kind of fixes itself and things. But we have some more coming up over this way. We've got one, two, three. Look at them go. Yes. So with these guys here, all we need to do is essentially like take them somewhere with those circuit boards and we can make computers fully automated as well. So that's really cool. Hopefully this line went back. Yeah, okay, that's going again. I had a little truck flip just kind of here. I don't know how it flipped, but it did. And then we had some down plastic and things, but yeah. Yeah, so this one here has been quite a long episode, guys. So if you have enjoyed it, please leave a like. Uh, comment down below what you guys think. If you guys have uh, automated your... Uh, crystal oscillators as well how big you went how small you went uh, anything at all it's, I just really appreciate it so uh, thanks for stopping by again guys and uh, yeah I will catch you guys in the next one Later.